Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Look what we have today. We have the new 48 set of the Black Widow Monarch pencils and we are going to do an unboxing, review, and then I'm going to swatch all of these new gorgeous colors out for y'all on paper so you could see exactly how they go down and what they look like. If you are a part of the adult coloring community and you love videos like this, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also turn on the bell notifications so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. If you love review videos and you are anxious to see this one, please make sure that you also like this video because that helps to let YouTube know exactly what you like and also recommend, recommend my videos out to others. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So a little bit about these, this series of pencils for those of you who have never purchased a set of Black Widow pencils. They were released a few years ago and they had three previous sets to start. Well, they came out with one, they came out with their first 24 set and then it was followed by two more 24 sets and then a while later they came out with a light skin tone set and a dark skin tone set. The first three sets had 24 pencils in each set in total and then they added on the skin tones which were each the dark had 12 pencils and then the light skin tone set also had 12 pencils and so now they're adding in this 48 set, which is called the Monarch, as you can see. They are all wax-based pencils, and if you purchase all sets of the pencils, then you will have a total set of 144 pencils, which is absolutely fantastic because you all know that I love my Prismas. I love having 150 colors. I love the bigger sets of pencils and having variety. And I think that these are going to really fit in well with the previous sets of pencils. Now, when I swatch these today, I am just going to swatch out the colors. It's not going to be my official swatch. I may do another video where I show you how I lay out all my Black Widow pencils. I do have all my previous sets of Black Widow pencils, including the skin sets all laid out by color in my pencil case and I'm going to be taking all of those out of that pencil case and putting them into a bigger pencil case and adding these in all by color. So I am going to be doing a whole other swatching of all of my pencils together so that they're all in color order no matter what set they came with came in or if they are a skin tone set or what. Now these pencils do have on them like like my uh, skin tone sets they do say skin on them still so if I were using that pencil for no matter what I was using it for I would still know that it came with the skin tone set okay so I grabbed my pencil case that has all my previous sets of my Black Widow pencils and here you can see these are the older sets so they do all say on them still, even though I've got them all laid out by color. They do still say on the pencil exactly what set they came with. Like here is the uh, pencil name, Midnight. And then it says on here, I don't know if you could see that. Hopefully the camera is focusing. But it says that this color came in one of the skin sets. And I would assume that is probably the dark skin set. So here are my pencils. And this is what I was going to show you, the difference in whether or not they came with the later sets or the previous three sets. So you can see that these are all from one of the previous three sets. And then if I come over here, you can see that a lot of my skin colors kind of were interwoven in here as far as color. So these now have the color-coded tips, and they did do that as well in this new set to follow, this Monarch set. And so those are all going to have the color tips. Now I do recommend swatching all of these because the color that comes out of the lead is not necessarily 
going to be the same as what you see on the tip of the pencil. So that's the old set. And like I said, I'm gonna be taking all of these out of this pencil case because I got a brand new case that is going to house all 144 pencils. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. Okay, so these pencils came to me in this box. It's a paper box. And then I want you all to know that I have not looked at these yet. I have not opened them yet. I waited to film this video so that y'all could see my reaction on camera. <laughs> and I am really excited about these pencils. So it's like I had to rush around and be like, I have to film that video. I have to film this video because I am dying to, to get these all put in my new case with the other pencils and play with them and see how they perform. And if you would like to see that or see me color something with these pencils, please let me know in the comments so that I know what kind of content y'all are looking forward to. And I will try my hardest to make sure that I take all your comments into account and make sure that I put out videos that y'all are interested in. So here they are. They come out of this paper cover and then they are in a tin. Oh my gosh, look at these colors already. I'm so excited to open this. So I know a lot of you in my Facebook group already got your pencils and I was getting so jealous. I'm like, why are mine taking so long? <laughs> Some people got them like two days ago. I think it's been four days since they were announced on the Black Widow Facebook page. And I have been waiting for these and went, ah, my tin is dented. But that's okay because I'm not leaving them in this tin. I don't ever leave them in the tins. I hope the pencils are okay. Okay, so here's the front. And then here is the back. And they show you all the colors here on the back of the tin. And it just says, tested and approved to be safe. All Black Widows are non-toxic and safe to, use, be, safe to use. Sourced from Renewable Energy. And then it gives you their Facebook page. And if you want to contact them. I don't know if I'm going to do anything about getting a dented tin or not. We'll see first how... Um, if the pencils are in good condition. So here we go. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at these colors. There are, I've, I've looked at the pictures and that's really all I've seen. And some people in my Facebook group received theirs and they showed pictures of them. And I'm just looking at all these pastel colors like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I love all these pastel brights, pastels and brights, because every time I see these bright colors, I just think, Highlight, 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 and you guys that follow me and are in my Facebook group and you follow my YouTube, you know that I am all about the highlight colors and making everything in my coloring pages just glow <laughs> because that is just one of my main focuses. It just, it changes the entire look of your entire coloring pages. Okay, y'all, so the most satisfying part. Let's peel this plastic off these pencils. Oh, these are so nice. Okay, so let's pull this one up and see what we've got behind here. So here is the first set of colors. And they, they look like they are, well, they start light and then they go to dark, I guess. But... There's a lot of pastels in that one. And then this one, these seem to be a little bit darker, but they all are in here in color order. So that will make it very easy for me to swatch them out and also interlay them in the middle of my other sets of pencils. So let's go ahead and start swatching these. And okay, so I have y'all zoomed in as close as I think that I can get you without the camera blurring out. And we are going to go ahead and start swatching these. The first one I have is called Fawn. And we are going to lay this one down. 
These are a waxed base pencil and they are laying down very nicely. Next we have cream. I'm doing a medium pressure with these so that you all could see what the full color will be once you put them down on your pages. This one is called Milk. Oh, I just noticed the pencils now have, if you can see, this one says MN067. So apparently they now have numbers on them too. This one is a very light shade. And it looks like it could be a skin color. It, it looks kind of peachy. Yeah, there are what you could probably use for more skin colors in there because this one is peach. So I'm sure these will fit nicely in with what we already have for skin colors in the previous set. And if you don't already have the skin tone sets, then you will have some skin tones that you can use in here. This one is called Aztec Gold. So I'm going to show you here, this is why I suggest to always swatch your pencils because if you look at the tip and then you look at the actual swatch, you can see that they don't match. So if you go lay it down on your coloring page without having swatched it, you may be surprised, but it is a pretty different color. Okay, so next we have what they call mango. There are some really great skin tones in here. Like I see skin tones all here, 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 and here. Next we have Candy. Oh, I like that name. Does it look like Candy? <laughs> Here's another one that you could use for a skin tone. So yeah, that's really cool because if you don't want to spend money on the skin tone sets, you have a lot of light skin tones in here. This one is called Ice Cream. Now we have light pink. This one is mushroom. Oh, I love that mauvey shade. That's pretty. In case you're wondering, I'm swatching these on the Spring Hill paper, and it's got a lot of tooth in it. So you're probably still going to see a lot of white behind my swatches, but I wanted you to be able to see these swatched with texture behind them or to see what they would look like with the texture on proper paper. So this next one is called Bliss. That's a pretty pink. This one is called Fudge. That is interesting because in my mind, Fudge is not pink. <laughs> what do y'all think of that? That's strange. They, do, they are very creative with these names though. Okay, this one is hot pink. That's more fitting, right? I don't know if that's necessarily a hot pink. It has a lot of purple in it. When I think of hot pink, I think of bright, bright pink. Okay, now we're getting into the greens. Oh, I love this. This one is called Passion. What is the name of my channel, y'all? <laughs> this must be my pencil. Look at that gorgeous green. Oh, I'm thinking Joanna Basford, World of Flowers with these greens here and leaves. 
This one is called Cool Green. That's a good name for that one. This next one is called Apple. I don't know, do y'all think that's the color of an apple? Maybe. Not really. It looks a little olivey, I think. This next one is called Iceberg. That's a pretty shade of green. I can't wait to put these in with my other pencils. I'm trying not to get out of order here. So next we have Peppermint. Oh, this looks like a peppermint. That's a good name for that one. Look at that gorgeous green. I would say my favorite ones are the peppermint and the passion. I love those greens. Because you guys know I love bright colors. Oh, goodness. Look at the name of this one. This one is called what? <laughs> green slime. <laughs> Let's go ahead and swatch this one and see what green slime looks like. That's a pretty color. Okay, so we're running out of room on the top row. Let's move down to the second one. We're still in our greens. This one is called Washed Green. This next one is called Poison. Didn't we already have one called Poison? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But that doesn't look like poison to me. Maybe it does. This one is called Antler. That's a pretty green. It's a very sagey green. Oh, this one has a good name. This one is Green Tea. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. And then we're still going with our olive greens. The next one we have, well, this one is called light bronze. So, oh, it is. So it does have some green in it, but it is more of a bronzy color. That's a gorgeous color. Okay, so we are going to move forward with our green blues. We're now getting into, here's what the next tray looks like. I don't know if you can see that pretty close up. And then we are getting into our colors that are kind of blue-green. This one is called Emerald. I love to, oh my gosh, this color is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I want to color some hair with that, like fairy hair or maybe mermaid fins. This one is sapphire. Oh, this is another pretty green. Now we have leaf green. The next one is Sky. Oh, that is pretty. See, when I sort these out by color, I'm already seeing what I'm going to change around. And I think that has a lot to do with a lot of people see color differently. And some of these have more green in them than the blue. And I don't know, I think should have gone up with the other greens. And then I'm seeing teal here and then teal here. So in my set, this one is probably going to come after this one. But if you want me to do that video and show you exactly how I lay out in my pencil case all of my Black Widow pencils by color family, please let me know in the comments that you want to see that. This one is called Cat's Eye. This looks like kind of like a grayish blue.
This next one is called Denim. This one looks like a gorgeous color. This one's called Ocean. This one looks more like it should be denim. And this one maybe looks more like it should be ocean. What do y'all think? Again, maybe it's the way I see my colors. This next one is called Blue Daisy. I love when they name the pencil colors after flowers. <laughs> it's just so happy. Okay, there's Blue Daisy. That's a pretty blue. Oh, and now it looks like when I look at the tip of this one, this one is called Opal, which opals are really not that color. But see, this one looks like it has more teal in it. And it does. So when I put this one in my set by Color Family, and I think I'm out of frame. Let me do this one, show you this one again. But when I put this one in my set by Color Family, it's not going to fall right there. Okay, and then we have gray slate. And see, to me, if I look at the tip of this one, this one looks like it should be purple. And it's in here with the purples because now we're getting into the purples. So let's see how this one swatches. I guess gray slate is kind of a good name because slate would be more like a blue. And then it has a lot of gray in it. So that is a good name for that one. Then we have lavender. To me, this is definitely not a lavender. Lavender is a light purple. Oh, this looks more like, I don't know, like maybe the mulberry or something in the Prismacolor set. That's a really pretty color, but definitely not lavender. This one is called Eggplant. This one has a very appropriate name. Look at that gorgeous dark purple. I bet you these two blended together are probably beautiful. And then we have navy blue. So we go, we're going back into the blues now. And I think the previous sets have a lot of dark blues in them, so I'm sure this one will fit in quite nicely. I don't see a lot of reds in this set. This one is called Blue Moon. Oh, this is a nice deep blue. That's really pretty. It looks almost as dark as an indigo. But indigo might have a little bit of a purple in it. Okay, let's get down here. And we are going to do Storm Blue. Okay, so now we have what is called Oyster. If I can get it out of the pencil case. Here we go, here's Oyster. And now we're getting into the what looks like grays. Again, I don't want to determine that just by looking at the pencil tips. This one is called Gunmetal. Gunmetal is a good name for a gray. So that's how that one lays down. I will say these tips are really nice and firm, or the leads are really nice and firm on these pencils. And they are a harder lead, but they are still wax-based. Some of them, when I swatch them, feel a little bit softer than others. Like that last one that I uh, just swatched was a little bit harder, and now this one seems a little bit softer than that one when I lay it down. This is dark gray. And then next, we are going to have light gray.
Now we have shadow. Oh, I hope I was in frame for that last one. That was light gray. I'm zoomed in so far that I have to keep watching the camera and making sure that my paper is still here, but I want you guys to be able to see these. So that's shadow. This one is medium gray. This next one is coal. This one is mahogany. That's a pretty color. It has a lot of brown in it, but it has a little bit of red in it too. So I guess that is, those are the reds that we will get in this set, which it's only a couple and they are a much darker shade of red that are not really a true red. This one is called Rusty. Oh, look at that. I don't know if that's going to be fixed with the pencil sharpener or not, but if you could see the way that my lead is kind of slanted like that, it may be just the way the wax dried or something, but that's a little awkward, huh? So let's go ahead and swatch this one. This is the last one. That's pretty. This one has a really good name. What did I, Rusty. And that definitely looks like a rust color. Here are all of the colors swatched out. Trying to make sure that they're all on camera, and I think they are. But there's all the colors. It's a beautiful variety of colors. And I'm really excited to see how these are gonna work and kind of intermingle in with all of the other Black Widow colors. And I am very excited to have 144 of them now because that is a lot of pencils. <laughs> so if you purchase every one of these sets, you are going to have plenty of shadowing colors, shading colors, highlight colors, and I believe when I'm looking at this, you're getting, like I said earlier, you're getting a lot of light skin tones. You are getting some dark skin tones. There are no true reds in here, but I will say that the Black Widow set of pencils does have a good array of reds. You've got a lot of true reds already in the other sets. So these will fit right in with these here that we have that have some red in them. So I am pretty pleased with them. You know what, let me go ahead and I'm going to turn this over and we're going to do a little blending test with these. What do you say? Okay, so let me see. What were those two colors that I said I really wanted to blend together? I think it was these two, but see now I didn't write any names down, so I just wanted you guys to see how all the colors laid out, but it looks like it might be this. Yep, it was that one. And so it must be the eggplant as well. Yep. Let's see how these two, and let's pick a lighter one too, so we could have a third color. Um, I think that we should go with something up in here. Just trying to see which one I think. I think this one would blend out the nicest, and that might be this. Yep, it's that one. Okay, so here are my three pencils. I have the eggplant, the hot pink, and the lavender. So let's go ahead and lay these out and see how they blend together. So let me go ahead and lay down my light one first since these are wax-based pencil. And let me come in and shade a little bit here with just my light color. And I'm gonna get a little bit lighter as I go out here. Then I am going to come in with my lavender and I am going to go over that. 
Look at that. See, these are really wonderful pencils. Look at that blend, though. Now let's come back in with our darkest, our eggplant. And we are going to start at the top. And we are going to come down into the other colors. Look at how these blend. These are wonderful pencils. And they feel really good when I'm laying them down on the paper. Let's see how dark we could get this one. These are really vibrant. Look at the color laying down. Okay, so let's come back with our next color, our medium color, and kind of go over this again. Look at the layers. This is good paper though, y'all, so the way they perform on this paper, you, you always have to make sure that you match your pencils to your paper because it makes such a huge difference. Let's come over and go over this one with our lightest of colors and kind of bring this through. Look at that blend. Let me get a little, of course I have not applied enough layers for this paper. So you could still see a little white there in the background, but look at that. Maybe we should lay down a little bit more and see if with this paper we can kind of get rid of some of the white background. Maybe I'll even come in with my white Prisma color and see if I could maybe burnish this out a little bit. Y'all know I always have my white Prisma color laying around. <laughs> so let's try a little trick here and see how the white Prisma works with these. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Notice I'm going the opposite direction as what I did previously. Look at this. Okay, so those of you that are interested, this paper that I'm using works really well with these Black Widows. And look at that. I was able to burnish them. They blended so nicely. I really do love Black Widow pencils. And as you can see, you can mix and match and you could mix these Black Widow pencils with your Prisma colors, and how many pencils are you going to have? <laughs> Close to 300 pencils. So that is a good variety of colors, a really good variety of colors, because you all know that I love my Prisma colors. I may do something where I print something out on this paper and I mix my Prisma colors in with the Black Widows and see what I could come up with because that is a really cool experiment idea. I love trying new little experiments and new things so that I could share them with all of you on my channel and all of you in my Facebook group. Everything that you have seen in this video, the Spring Hill paper, uh, the Monarch pencils, all of the other Black Widow pencils that I showed you, and everything that I've talked about, I will have all of that linked down in the description for you to be able to find it. If you liked this video, please make sure that you do hit the little like thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, as well as turn on your bell notifications. I hope you all have a fabulous day, and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.